Welcome. This is an unboxing and first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Now, this is the other Note that Samsung is offering this year. We just took a look at the Note 10 Plus. If you want to see that unboxing, I'll leave a link in the description here. I know a lot of people have already checked out the glow color, but I wanted to see it for myself. So we got it here on the Note 10. We just got the Aura Blue for the Note 10 Plus. So let's check out the Note 10. Move our device to the side here. Interestingly, the S Pen has actually popped out of the phone. Have our SIM ejection tool, have our various paperwork. All right, we have our AKG wired earbuds. These are type C earbuds, not your standard three and a half millimeter. We have our super fast charger, 25 watts of fast charging. We have our black USB-C cable, OTG connector. I have a couple of S Pen replacement tips. And that's it for what's inside the box. So let's check out the glow color on the Note 10. Wow, very nice. That looks really cool. Okay, take off the film here. And they put film on all sorts of parts of this phone. Really, really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and boot this guy up. So we have a 6.3 inch AMOLED display. 256 gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 855, IP68 water resistance, ultrasonic in-display fingerprint reader. We have a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. We have 25 watt charging. We have our similar camera setups as the Note 10 Plus with the 10 megapixel on the front and our 16 megapixel ultra wide, 12 megapixel variable aperture lens and our 12 megapixel telephoto lens on the rear. And as you see here, you can only fit your SIM card into the tray. There is no option for adding a micro SD card to this phone. All right, so we are all set up here on the Note 10. And the first thing I definitely noticed when setting this up and putting my information in is that this feels really good in the hand. It's a really nice feel. It's a great size. And I know it's smaller than the Note 10 Plus, and I know it has less specs and all that kind of stuff. Note 10 Plus is just a behemoth of a device. And I think that's why the Note 10 exists, is that if people wanted to get a Note device, but they didn't want something that was huge and ginormous, that the Note 10 would be a viable option for them. So you're getting that Note experience, you're getting that S Pen, you are still getting your same cameras, you're getting the brand new colors that have come out, you are getting the Infinity O display, pretty much essentially a bezel-less display. So you're getting all of these things, but in a smaller package, and that this phone does feel really nice in the hand, and I think this is gonna be a really enjoyable device to use. Okay, so next thing I wanna do here is just do some sizing comparisons of some other devices with the Note 10. So here is the Note 9, and you can see that the Note 10 is definitely smaller than the Note 9. But when it comes to screen sizes, they're almost the same with the Note 10 having a 6.3 inch display and with the Note 9 having a 6.4 inch display. But you can see here again that the Note 10 is a smaller device, but you're basically just shaving off the bezels and that leaves us with the Note 10. And now here is the Note 10 Plus next to the Note 10. So again, here is your screen size comparison. So we can see here that the Note 10 is obviously shorter than the Note 10 Plus, but we can also see here that it's not as wide as the Note 10 Plus. So that may be helpful for reaching across the screen to get to other things. And for the Note 10 Plus, it might be more troublesome to do that. So the next thing I wanna quickly talk about here is the screen resolution of the Note 10. So the Note 10 actually has a 1080p screen opposed to the Note 10 Plus having a 1440p screen. And when looking at these devices from a normal distance, you really can't see that much of a difference. If you are looking close up at the screens, you can definitely notice that difference. And where I first noticed this right away was on my profile picture. So on my Note 10 Plus here, this is the 1440p display. And looking at it again on the Note 10, not sure if you can see that, but it is definitely more pixelated. This little tiny image here is definitely not as sharp on the Note 10 as it is on the Note 10 Plus. So that is definitely something to keep in mind if you are considering this smaller Note 10, is that you will take a hit in your resolution. You will also take a hit in your battery life. You're obviously taking a hit in your screen size. You're taking a hit in your RAM, eight gigs of RAM versus 12 gigs of RAM. So there's definitely some things to keep in mind here 
if you are looking at this Note 10. So I think the Note 10 would be good for those who prioritize one-handed usage because from using this device for a little bit, I can notice that it is definitely easy to type with one hand, accessing all the corners and such. Whereas on the Note 10 Plus, you will definitely have to make a little bit of extra effort to reach different parts of the screen and to just use the phone in general. I definitely wanna do a speaker test here to see if the sound quality and volume is any different on the Note 10 than it is on the Note 10 Plus. All right, so after doing a quick comparison here and giving you guys a sound bit as well, the Note 10 Plus is definitely louder than the Note 10, but I wouldn't say the audio quality is any better or worse on either device, just this provides a much louder sound response. And something else I just noticed on the speaker grills on these devices is that the Note 10 Plus has six holes on the bottom for the speaker grill, and the Note 10 has five holes on the bottom for the speaker grill. All right, so in terms of the Note 10's S Pen, it is exactly the same size as the Note 10 Plus. The only difference is color, and that's because of the glow color on the Note 10. You will get a silver top. For the Note 10 Plus, you have a blue top. And when it comes to using the S Pens for writing notes, I will definitely say that I prefer the writing experience on the Note 10 Plus. And it's not due to the S Pens, it's just due to the screen size and just having that larger canvas, having that larger area to write your notes, to do your drawings, whatever it may be that you do with your S Pen. It definitely feels nicer to have a little bit of a wider screen, a wider phone, and a taller phone to be able to write more notes more comfortably. Whereas on the Note 10, you definitely feel a little more crammed with your writing. As you see here, I had to write these three words, please subscribe today, on separate lines. Whereas on the Note 10 Plus, I could easily fit two words on that line there. I could fit more words on a single line and not feel like I have to skip down to another line each word I write. So just something to keep in mind if you would want to write a lot or draw a lot, then the Note 10 Plus might be a better choice for you than the Note 10. So to sum up my first impressions and first feelings here with the Note 10, initially I didn't really see any purpose for this phone. I wasn't sure why Samsung even made it to begin with. I still don't entirely agree with how they name these devices as the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus where I think the Note 10 Plus should be the Note 10, and the Note 10 should be a Note 10e, for example, because it is a smaller device, similar to how they did it with the Samsung S10 and the S10e. But after playing with this phone for about an hour or so, I can definitely see why Samsung made this device to begin with, because I really enjoy the one-hand usage of this device. It is so much easier to handle this phone, and I think that does appeal to a lot of people because I see a lot of comments everywhere complaining about phones being way too big. But you are now able to get that Samsung Note experience in a smaller form factor opposed to going with the larger Note 10 Plus. And just again to touch on the colors thing, it looks really, really cool. And I do really like the color of the blue as well. And if you're having a hard time deciding on a color on any of these, I would honestly just say just pick one because they all look really good and you're not going to regret really any color you go with. They all look really, really nice. But that's going to be it for this quick unboxing and first impressions video of the Galaxy Note 10. So let me know in the comments what you think of the Galaxy Note 10 opposed to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you around for the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.